Hello friends, when we pour chilled water in a glass, we will see droplets on the surface of the glass. Now we all studied evaporation and condensation in school. To know that there will be water vapor in atmosphere is knowledge. To find out what will happen to this water vapor at various stages is intelligence. But to apply these existing concepts and to invent something as a like a refrigerator, like a cooler is an act of genius. And because of so many genius people, human evolution has reached from the stage of ape man to the world of artificial intelligence. So this series of episodes is to enlighten about, is to discover about such genius people whose thoughts, whose actions and whose work in their respective fields has led to big revolutions and has completely changed the face of this world. To start with the first person I have selected, the one of my childhood favorite, a German born scientist whose name is still used as a synonym for genius and whose mind was so deeper that even today people are working to understand it is Albert Einstein. Period 1879 to 1955. Born in Germany, Einstein to a very well educated family but shockingly he was a very dull kid initially and even till 3 years he could not even speak small words properly. But at the age of 4, Einstein parents gifted him a compass which fascinated him so much and developed his first interest about physics in him. Eventually, Einstein developed immense interest in physics and maths and started ignoring other subjects in his schooling. Life was not so easy for Einstein. He lost his father at a very early stage and as a result, he started looking out for a job for survival. Being an average student in overall academics, Einstein has to struggle a lot for securing his first job. Einstein started his career as a clerk, which he was definitely not interested, but unlike others, he did not compromise. He used to finish his whole day work in just 3 or 4 hours and to utilize the rest of the time in writing research papers on physics. Continuing his job, he started publishing papers about photoelectric effect, theory of relativity with whatever knowledge he has during the whole school age. But initially for 4 years, his work was rejected by the, DN, the, by the then existing scientists because it was out of their reach to understand what Einstein was about to say. Later, another famous scientist Max has first identified the depth in Einstein's work and started supporting him. Then it all happened in 1905. This year made Einstein's world famous because his work was worldwide acknowledged because his photoelectric theory which was proving that light was not just traveling in the form of waves but light was traveling in the form of photons. And this, and this theory has led to the birth of so many existing theories in science. Einstein did not stop there. His theory of relativity e equal to mc square about traveling in space and difference between the timings in planets and so many so many other concepts of Einstein's has completely shocked the world, enlightened the world forever. Like every life has some dark truths, Einstein's has some. Because Einstein was not a happy family man. He has two broken marriages and ill children. And later Einstein confessed that due to his extensive work, he never did justice to family life. And this realization later made him a great humanitarian. He used to collect money for his every autograph, for his every research paper and for his every speech just to donate to the needful. Einstein was just not a scientist. He was a political analyst, he was a philosopher and at a stage he, he even got an offer of becoming president of Israel which he declined because he was never hungry for power, he was only hungry for knowledge. And yes. When finally Einstein passed away, it will be shocking to know that a famous pathologist called Thomas Harvey has theft the brain of Einstein for doing research. Finally, after getting the permission from Einstein's family, the scientists have split Einstein's brain into 240 pieces, did a lot of study on them to know why this brain used to work so fastly and why this brain used to do so much thinking. Well, they gave a conclusion that there is something called as parietal lobe, a part which helps in mathematical thinking and that is 20% more in Einstein's brain compared to the other brains. But more than this, actually Einstein himself confessed when he was alive that what was the secret of his brain? And that is his curiosity, his curiosity to find out what is happening around him. And he always used to give the whole credit to his curiosity only. And you know what, out of the all aspects of Einstein, my favorite aspect of him is his philosophy, his quotes. His quotes even today are so so enlightening, like imagination is more powerful than knowledge. Life is like riding a bicycle and to keep your balance, you should just keep moving or 
try not to become a man of success but rather try to become a man of value and one message of einstein which may be relatable to everyone to become you know more productive is if you compare your talent with others you will remain as a fool instead discover your potential your talent and you will also become a genius thank you